All right. I'm very disconcord disconcordant right now. Uh, Sunday morning coffee, 193. Uh, I'll start with, I want to thank you all for being here, for following this journey. Um, I am not going to settle for okay, reasonable, all right. I'm going to make something of this career, fucking with these cars. I'm going to make something of this career path. And I started with this wanting to document. And if you look at my old work videos, my old uh, how-to, and man, there's some dodgy shit there, right? Okay. Um, I've explained this a number of times. I started six years ago right here. I'd never painted a car. I'd never welded a panel. I'd never fabricated a panel. I've come a long ways in those six years. A long ways in those six years. I've framed a lot of education. I've still got so much to learn. Always will. God, I hope I always will. I don't want to know it all. Um, I don't want to specialize in, in specific arenas, specific veins of things. So, that said, I'm very disconcordant. I want to touch a few subjects today, kind of air out my own cobwebs. We waste a lot of time and effort. We, me, you, people, in general, maybe not you specifically, but in general, we waste a lot of time and effort fretting things we have no control over. Um, trying to attain control over things we have no control over. So, what does this do? It, it robs us of sleep, it robs us of serenity, solace, um, and brings on about a myriad of, brings about a myriad of health issues, mental health and physical. So I was very wrapped up in the new news of I get to move yet again. Last, uh, last Sunday morning coffee. And I wasted a week fretting that. Um, trying to sort that out, whatever, you know. Worthless, pointless, and silly. Now that being said, Um, I've noticed by and large not just my existence but by and large if we take care of what we need to take care of show up do the needs have a tendency of working themselves out um we paid a bill and needed paid. And it left us with zero, really. And my wife looks at me and she says, you know, something will come up. We'll make it up somewhere else. It's okay. <coughs> and we took off to run errands. And in the midst of all of that, I get a phone call. And this is going to lead into another part of this conversation today. I get a phone call. Well, I get a, a message via Facebook to make a phone call. So I make said phone call. A customer of mine tracked my ass down after I ghosted <laughs> to do some metal work. It was, you know, an hour of work. Um, not crazy technical, but, it, you know, it was, it was about an hour of work to do and to do it right and nice. And... That was enough. It was just that little bit to, to not be completely destitute at the moment. Now that will get spent and I'll have to do it again. But that statement right there is so powerful. We took care of what we needed to take care of, what we had to take care of. And instead of wasting time and effort fretting that, um, just taking care of shit, it showed up. I have a strong lead on where I may be going. I've got it in my mind I'm going there already. 
we're moving there, that specific place. I don't even have an address. I've just got an approximate location and a vague descriptor of the property, outbuilding, and house. Um, it showed up. That lead came out of nowhere I was expecting. My old boss over at Des Moines Customs. And it's rural. It's got a larger building than I'm working out of here. Um, the money in question is right on the deal. The you know it, it's an excellent situation. It could be an excellent situation for everybody. And I wasted a week. A week, I wasted just fretting and sweating it and and really trying and losing sleep losing peace losing my damn mind and it just fell on my lap um i don't think i, I don't feel i'm special in that resort i think all of us if we take time to take a breath step back take care of what we gotta take care of the rest of pieces tend to fall in place um, law of attractions if you will it it will become it's what you allow your mind heart and soul to dwell on if you dwell on the negative the negative will come all I've done is dwell on the negative since February it's been a downward spiral now I can ride this out and let it crash or pick myself up dust myself off do what I need to. That's what I chose. I had to make the conscious decision to let my position go at my part-time job in lieu of responsibilities here. And the words coming out of my mouth I knew the truth of but listening to them take form and come out audibly it was a whole different experience. I was asked, you know, I said, I need to get out this direction. I need to go towards Jasper County from here. Pope County, Jasper County is east. You got Marion County to the south of there. I said, I need that way. I need to get closer to Newton if I can. My older two children live in Newton with their mom. <clears throat> I want to be closer to that. That's where it's at. A lead, a prospect, landed in my lap because of that. I was asked, well, do you work out that way? Well, I've got to have a sit-down, personal, in-person conversation with each car owner. I've done spoke with a handful of folks that I'm doing work for now and when I get that positive direction I know exactly where I'm going I'll call every one of them in sit down, talk to them, deal with the problem at hand and then if the work goes with me so be it, if it doesn't I figure out the best way to make it straight with them and the thing is I explain this. It's like, well, I've got work. I have a lot of catching up to do to get to where the work is is viable. But I'll do that. And I do good work. I'm good at what I do. I'm not the best, but I'm good at what I do. And the work will show up. The work will be there. And... I realized I truly held that, that belief. So you know what? It's true. I have customers after my disappearance at the shop. One of the customers I dealt with were who I'm, whom I was actively working for, tracking me down to do metal work. 
I didn't know who the hell else I, who else who, I didn't know who the hell I was going to get to do this. There's nobody else around. I've heard this not once, not twice, but, but multiple times. Um, sheet metal fab in my hands, my body. We we, we get along. It, it's a it's a very good relationship. I'm blessed there. It makes sense to me. I've babbled and gone around and around and around. We're going to leave it about there. I don't really have anything new to add. I just... Don't waste your time on shit that ain't worth your time. On people that aren't worth your time. On troubles that aren't worth your time. <clears throat> oh, they seem important at the moment. They're not. Get up, show up, make a list, check the boxes off as you go. That's the way to go about it. By my findings. And, you know, I've made it all the way to 40 now without a wheelchair. I'm pretty proud of myself for that factor. I made it to 40. I'm not in a wheelchair. Um, aside from these nasty little buggers, I'm not an addict. Not a drunkard. Now I'm just trying to find that peace in my life and work out a little bit of balance and I ain't getting the hell out of this town will do it. Even if that's not the exact cause, the fact I've got it in my head that getting out of this town will fix it. Getting out of this town will fix it. Man, I got a lot of work. All right, it's Sunday. I'm going to go spend it with the family. Might even get a little bit done in the shop today. I doubt it. I don't know. We'll see. I worked a few hours yesterday. I try to take one full day off anymore. Um, I find it helps the rest of the week. But, um, yeah. You folks have a good day. Don't dwell too much on the shit you can't change. Just work on the shit that you can. I'm going to let it go with that. Take care.